Hi everybody, Jimmy Cannon here, singer and voice coach. I had a session today and one of the things I do at the end of the session is to ask for feedback. One of the questions that I ask is if there's anything from the session that you, uh, that you could, could take away, what would that be? And one of the ladies uh, in the group said, um, well actually I didn't think before about my voice as an instrument. I never thought about my voice being an instrument. And that's, that's really interesting that she said that because it made me think about how we could, how we relate or how I relate um, performing music and the interpretation of music and the expression of music to, to business. And I would really like your, your ideas on, on, on this. And, and uh, uh, if I can spark a conversation, that would be, that would be fantastic. It's something that I'm really interested in and interested in, in, in exploring even even deeply, more deeply. Um, so um, I had a few ideas that I've just jotted down here really. This isn't, very, isn't particularly planned, this video. We, as musicians, we interpret the score. We, can, we interpret the conductor's intentions. So that might be linked to interpreting what the, uh, what the brand is, interpreting what the, uh, the CEO's um, concept is, what the whole ethos of the company is interpreting that um, for your clients interpreting that how you deliver your your product how, how you how you shape the uh, the image literally and uh, communicatively um, of the business uh, the second one is uh, expressing the music um, either as a group or as an individual so as an individual you've got more you've got more freedom as a, as a soloist in music, we, where there's a section in the music, sometimes for a solo is called a cadenza, and that's a, that's a that's an improvised section at the beginning or, or the end of, of a classical piece, and that's a, a way that the that the, the soloist can express themselves with less limitations within the music. So it's um, and obviously, for instance, in in jazz, that's that's a, there's a much more there's a much more expressiveness in 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 jazz than other certain styles of music. So uh, in a group. Uh, you've got to to express the express the intention of the music together. It's got to be one sound, and that's that needs to be talked about. That needs to be that needs to be experimented with. It needs to be practiced. Needs to be rehearsed, and it needs to be explored. Um, uh, third idea I thought about is 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 communicative style and genre um, uh, through language and sound. So so um, the style and genre, the 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 the, um, the roots of a music um, is, is really important to have as a musician to know where the style comes from. So for me, as, a, as predominantly a jazz singer, you, you know, I've listened to, um, I, I would like to think that I'm very aware of, of, of the history of, of, of jazz. And I'm, I'm aware of the, the lineage, if you like, of that, st of that style of music. And I think that li links quite, quite um, directly to the uh, to the ethos, what what is your company? What do you stand for? What is your what is your authenticity? What are your roots? Where where do you come from? That where's your grounding? Where's your foundation to the business? I want to change. <laughs> that's really pretentious. I want to have an effect on people. I want to affect the way they're thinking. I want to affect their emotion. I want to I want to I want to to change something about how they might leave the auditorium or the stage or the gig or. Uh, I want to. I want to make an impression. I want to make. I want to make a difference. I don't. It's not. It's not just playing the music in front of me. It's. It's playing the soul of the music, and it, and it's playing the roots and the genre of the music, and express. And it's expressing it in my own in my own way. And I want to. You know. I. I think as a business. You know. We want to be as a business. You, you and 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 the business needs to needs to have that philosophy. I think. I think the business needs to want to, needs to change people's minds improve improve things for the greater good is is what i think and i think music does that in all sorts of forms and from many directions and i think i think that's what most businesses and most entrepreneurs want to achieve we express a variety of emotions with when we're when we're performing depending on what the business is but you as a as a, as a business owner or entrepreneur um, as part of a team you want to you want to engage with people, and the way to do that is to engage through their through their through their emotions, um, and to find what really gets them ticking and what really turns them on. 
you know, in a, in a, in a business sense, that is. Um, and really just the, the fact that the voice is a very, very powerful instrument. You can use the voice. You can use your voice as a, as a communicator to deliver your message with the right emotion and authenticity.